Now, as you guys know, uh, Pi is not shy of a bit of hard work, but she's also extremely talented in, a, in so many areas I can't even count, and she never ceases to amaze me of what she can create. Well, Dad had an old tree stump, and he also had a huge slab of timber as well, so Pi decided that she was going to make a dining room table out of it. Check this out. I mean, that's just outstanding, isn't it? It just sits on this really huge tree trunk. And then as you can see, the uh, slab of wood that sits on top is just uh, really, really heavy. Honey, you're amazing. I'll give you that. That's such a nice job though. Beautiful piece of wood. Absolutely fabulous. You want to get some lacquer for it, yeah? Yeah, yeah that'll work out a treat. Look at it, absolutely beautiful piece of wood. I think we're going to build a house, or Pi will. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her to be able to do it, to be honest with you. I really wouldn't. I think she's capable of anything. Well, as you can see, Pi's also got some tree stumps. So they'll act as the uh, stalls. Really nice job though, she's made of this. Now what I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna make some fish bait. Now when Rob was here, he showed uh, me how to make it and um, the fish absolutely love it. So what we've got is the um, fish pellets that we feed the fish with. And I'm just gonna uh, basically make them into a powder. Add one egg. Add a teaspoon of um, oil and then just roll it into a ball. And then you just take little bits off it, roll it up and put it on the hook and away you go. The fish really do like it, so it's great bait. When I finish this, I'll show you. Now again, this recipe goes out thanks to Rob uh, who visited. And it really does make exceptionally good fish bait. So what I've done now is just ground up the uh, the fish pellets to a fine sort of dust and the next thing to add is an egg just give it a little bit of a mix up this will bind it up and now just to add the uh, egg to it And once that's done, you can add the final ingredients, which is a tablespoon of uh, regular cooking oil. Now when the uh, bait hits the water, the oil will get released and then uh, they'll be able to smell it just nicely. We've tried this on a couple of occasions now and it works an absolute treat. And then basically just mix it up into a, a paste. As you can see, Pi's doing it there. If it's too hard, then basically just add a little bit more oil. Now obviously, um, because there's egg in this and oil, it's uh, gonna go off. It'll go off uh, within a few days. So what we do is we roll it up into small sort of portions and then freeze it. And then when we need it, just take it out of the freezer. Now, if you actually want to measure this out in, in a correct quantity, then you want about 100 grams of fish food, one egg, one tablespoon of oil, and uh, then about a tablespoon of uh, fish sauce. Well, once you've finished, uh, this is what you end up with. A big lump of uh, fish bait. And it's just lovely, absolutely brilliant. And what we do is we take tiny little bits of it, about that much, and just roll it. And then we put that on the hook. Cool, isn't it? And that's it. But what we'll do now, we'll cut that up into, say, four bits, and then take some to the farm to fish with. The rest go in the freezer to keep. Yeah, there's probably about a month's worth of fish in there, so uh, not bad at all. And cheap to make. As you can see, Pi's uh, new dining table is working out a treat.
Well, now that we made up a load of fish food, got to go fishing. Absolutely glorious out here today. Going to sit here for about an hour. Whoa, and I've got one. Do a bit of fishing. Straight away took that though. Oh, mm, good size as well. Putting up quite a fight. And we got a little one there. And he's using his mum's uh, fishing pole. It's a bit big for him though. Look at the size of it <laughs> compared to him. But he does like his fishing, bless him. The fish just ate his fish food. So he's going to rebait his little hook. He does like it though. He likes to sit and fish with his dad. Just nice and relaxing. Just spend a bit of quality time together. <laughs> well, me and Fam, we're going to sit here and do a little bit of fishing for an hour. Wait for his mum to come back. And then... Uh, Head on home, other bits and pieces to do yet. Well guys, we've got uh, Rich. Hi. And uh, his wife Irene. Hi. <laughs> and they've just driven up from uh, Chiang Mai. And they bought some of some gifts, so uh, really, really happy. An old favorite of mine, steak and kidney pudding. How nice is that? You can't get steak and kidney pudding here, you just can't. I saw it once in Phuket, but it was massively expensive, so I didn't buy it. But uh, yeah, I've got two of these as well. <laughs> yeah, it was upside down. There you go, guys. <laughs> Don't forget about this. And they bought some fresh donuts, which is, of course, um, excellent. Outstanding. Yeah, I do like a donut. <laughs> now, fam, he's got uh, a Cadbury's cream egg. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's eating it, look. <laughs> Hello, me. And yeah. And yeah. This is for you too. And your <laughs> mum and dad and uh, grandma. And oh, they bought some KFC. Yeah. Oh. Fam likes his KFC. Yeah. Not very often he gets it, but uh, he does like it. That's oh. original and spicy. Yeah, the guys do like their spicy chicken. They really do. Well, we're going to get you guys settled at the uh, okay. resort yeah. and then we'll head on to the farm. Excellent. Sure. Perfect. Thank you very Sounds much. Great. Thank you. Here we go, guys. We're off to the uh, Bansell Garden Resort. It is a pretty, pretty place. It really is nice there. So we're going to go there and uh, get them settled and then take them to the farm. It'll be a nice day. Well, we're at the uh, Bansell Garden Resort, as you can see, and the uh, guys are just checking in. Here's a quick vlogging tip for you. Look up. I've been in here so many times, I've never looked at the ceiling and uh, I normally do because you'll be surprised what you can find up above and uh, here's no exception, look at this. They've actually got two traditional Thai Mekong boats, little fishing boats up on the rafters, absolutely lovely. Very cool that. Again, you know, as a vlogger, you do keep your eyes open for all sorts of bits and pieces. And it's really, really nice. The flowers are just beautiful as you go through this pagoda. Unbelievably pretty. It is a very nice little place. It's nicely kept. And it does have a beautiful view, as you guys have seen before. Just to give you another sneak preview inside, these rooms are really very, very nice. So you have a villa standard room. This is the, on the ground floor. So you've got your little bathroom area here. Toilet. Shower. Quite, quite a big mirror. She's rather nice. <laughs> I'll never stop. <laughs> and a really nice bed. It's beautiful. I like it when they use white linen, it just looks so clean. But yeah, it's a beautiful room. You can see up on this uh, second level here, you've got some lovely views down there, the Mekon. Just a really nice little place. Again, it's, the layout of this is um, pretty much the same, but it's uh, nice. It's really nice. But uh, looking out the window is when you get that view of the Mekong. 
It is absolutely stunning down there. Word, spectacular. <laughs> and we just can't believe it because the mountains that look about an inch high on the uh, camera are in your face. They're here, they're beautiful, they're fantastic. And oh, I only found the, I only found the hammock. <laughs> the ducks have greeted us, the dogs have greeted us. Lovely. It's an easy life, isn't it? Oh <laughs> I'm enjoying it now. This is just a perfect and place to relax. And this is That's Tim. Tim. That's Tim. That's Tim. Noodle. And, and uh, Snow, yeah. Oh, lovely dogs. Oh, they're good, they're good fellows, they really are. Well, well, Rich wants to do some uh, vlogging of his own here, so we're going to leave him to uh, just uh, capture some of the farm. Wonderful. Yeah, another convert. <laughs> Doesn't take much. And, you know, if you're into the quiet life, then yeah, it's as close as perfection I think you can really get. Uh, it's, again, I've always found it so peaceful here and a great place for me to come and escape just to sit by the... Uh, pond bank and do a little bit of fishing. Well we've had a truly fabulous day but you know it's a normal for us to have pretty good days here. Um, Irene and, and uh, Rich are on the farm and we're about to head on home. Have you enjoyed it guys? Oh, it's been Very much. Fantastic, Thank absolutely you. wonderful. It's a brilliant place. It is truly beautiful out here. Well, whatever you do, guys, have a fantastic day and stay safe. And Pi and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget, please subscribe, share and like. It does make all the difference And from Pi and I. Bye for now. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow.